Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Wherever you are and whatever the time zone you may be, thank you for joining me and listening up Coffee Time. We're continually studying the Lord's Prayer, and it's in Matthew 6, 9-13. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Today, we'll learn about your kingdom come. First, what is a kingdom? In Greek, it's pronounced basilia, meaning the royal power of Jesus as the triumphant Messiah and king to rule and reign over all the creation, including territories. Then, what is the meaning of come? In Greek, it's pronounced erkomai, meaning to establish with influence. Therefore, when we pray, your kingdom come, we're asking Jesus the king to come and establish his kingdom to rule and reign and influence over all the creation and over all the entire world and with his goodness and greatness. There's an important point. We're asking your kingdom come, not my kingdom come. We're praying for Jesus' kingdom to firmly establish, not my kingdom and my will be done by God. Not at all. It's God's will. Therefore, where is the, then, where is the first territory Jesus the King must come to establish his kingdom to rule, reign, and influence over with his goodness and greatness? Myself. Yes, the first place Jesus must come as the King is none other than myself. Therefore, by faith, we're desperately asking Jesus to be my Lord and my King to rule and reign and influence over me with His goodness and greatness to transform me. And the second territory we're asking Jesus the King to come and rule and reign is my entire family, including my children. And the next territory we're asking Jesus the King to come to rule and reign is my entire being. My work, my business, my church, my country and people, the entire world and the creation as the Lord and King to rule and reign and influence with His goodness and greatness. Therefore, it's much more encompassing. We're asking Jesus the King to come to rule, to reign, to influence over myself, my family, and my entire world and with His goodness and greatness. However, for those who pray like this, God has a wonderful blessings waiting for them. God would elevate us not only as His children, but His heirs. When we pray like this, humble sinners like us are elevated as the royal family, as princes and princesses. And God already promised us, in this, promised us about this in the Bible. 1 Peter 2.9 But you are chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Revelation 1.6 in King James Version And hath made us kings and priests unto God and His Father. To Him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Friends, indeed, God not only elevated us as His children, but also as royal kings and priests. Wow! However, it's conditional. In order for His kingdom to firmly establish in my life, there cannot be two kings, can never be two kings in the kingdom. Only one king must rule and reign over the kingdom. Friends, imagine a kingdom with two kings, one good king and one bad king. Only the good king must rule and reign over the kingdom for the kingdom to be great. However, however, if the bad king wins to rule, the bad king wins to rule and reign over the kingdom, then the kingdom will be ruined and eventually be destroyed. That's how it is with us believers. Within us, there are two lords, true Lord Jesus and myself as the other Lord. And in every moment, these two lords are at war, and me, myself, and I always seem to win the battle every time, thereby killing the real Lord in my life. 
Of course, we cannot really kill Jesus, but our free will choice, we can definitely diminish his power and influence over my life whenever I choose the world over Jesus. As a result, our lives will be ruined and eventually be destroyed. Therefore, we always have choice, as we shared in the last episode. Whatever troubles arise, either bow down to the worldly king that's bringing the troubles or bow down to the one who has won the world, Jesus the King. Friends, don't you know that you're enslaved to whomever you bow down to? Therefore, will you bow down to the worldly king and be enslaved by the devil? Or will you bow down and worship Jesus, the king who has already won the world, thereby conquer the world through his power and authority of Jesus? Jesus already told us about the tr coming troubles in the world and how to overcome them by coming to him. John 16, 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. 1 John 3, 8, the reason son of, the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. Amen. Jesus already destroyed the devil's work and the worldly king, the devil, on the cross. Yet, whenever you bow down to the world, you eventually bow down to the worldly king, the devil, whom Jesus already destroyed. Once again, ask yourself these questions. Am I living a life that's witnessing Jesus the king to the world by conquering all the troubles of pro uh, problems by God's power? Or am I living a life that cowers before the troubles and problems of the world? Whenever troubles or problems arise in my life, whom do I turn for help? God or the world? Whom do I bow down to? God or the world? Who is the Lord in my life, my family, and my entire world? Jesus or myself? Or worse yet, Jesus or the devil? Friends, Please remember that it's not enough to just recite the Lord's Prayer, but you must live it out. Am I living a life exalting Jesus the King, or am I living life exalting me, myself, and I, or worse yet, the devil? Once again, who is the Lord of my life, my family, and my entire world? If Jesus the King is not the absolute Lord of my entire being, hmm, it's never too late. We must begin again. How? Just admit your sins and surrender and repent of your sins and just give your life to Jesus and absolutely trust, follow, and remain in Jesus for all your days. And whenever troubles and problems arise, just run to Jesus, the King, and bow down only to the one who has overcome all this and much more on the cross. And He will shield and protect you, fight for you and lift you up above all the troubles and problems as God already promised us in James 4.10. Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up. 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7, Humble yourself therefore under God's mighty hand that He may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. Now, can you fathom the amazing privilege when we pray, Your kingdom come in the Lord's Prayer and actually live it up by faith? Then, how can we enjoy all these divine privileges? Simple. Get reconnected with Father God. How? Just Jesus. Surrender plus repentance equals restoration. <laughs> That's how we keep going back to the same life-changing formula over and over again. Amen? Amen? As we close, I have a daily homework and realization application. For homework first, please watch today's episode a few more times and please share with other people. Realization application. Ask yourself these simple questions. Who is the Lord in my life, my family, and my world? Do I run to Jesus for all my troubles? If not, then let us admit, surrender, repent of a lack of faith, and let us begin again by absolutely trusting, following, and remaining Jesus for all our days. Amen? Amen? As we close, uh, would you mind repeating after me as I lead you to a simple prayer? Precious Father, please forgive me for exalting myself as the Lord of my life. Please forgive me for this constant worrying going on within me between myself and the real Lord. Please forgive me. 
please forgive me. I repent of all my pride and arrogance. And I choose to exalt Jesus as the only Lord and King of my entire being. Help me to start anew. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Listen Up Coffee Time is found on Just Jesus YouTube channel. And I want to invite you to grow together as we listen to the heart of God through the word of God. Friends, we love you. And just hold on to Jesus for all your days. And we'll see you next time. God bless you. You are the sun and I'm your sunflower.